So I've been meaning to do this sound test of how good the Sony's WF-1000 XM4 earbuds is. Um, but before we get into that, I'd like to really highlight the quality of the case itself. I mean, I actually paid 250 British pounds, which is really high price comparing to the cheap, really good uh, sound quality earbuds I have but I have to say other than the fact that it's actually powder coated with probably the scratch resistance if you actually immediately open up inside it's like a really cheap uh, plastic and um, I just don't understand I well I know it's in the end is about the sound quality of the earbud itself but I think Sony could have done much better than that really um, and also the lid itself is a bit wobbly and comparing to the quality of the high price range earbuds that I have for example the Pixel Buds 2 and Bang & Notice and E8 and even down to the um, Apple's AirPods it's a big disappointment. Anyhow, so the way how I'm gonna do the sound test as usual as on my channel is to link up each earbud into two different uh, smartphones and then simultaneously play the same song to see what are the sound differences are. So let's get into the sound test. So here it goes. All right, so the first test will be my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra connected to my XM4 earbuds while as the iPhone 12 Pro connected to my uh, wife's airpod and we're going to play the track called i need it by jay someday so here it goes you can never get it simultaneously played that's annoying but it's almost there okay so, yeah, this is noise cancel at the moment, XM4. The beat is really soft and professional. And this is like clap sound. It's so annoying to hear on my AirPods, uh, my wife's AirPods actually. I feel sorry for, for listening to such quality. It kind of, it's just like directly annoying, nagging sound, sharp. While as here, because of the noise cancelling and the settle beat, you really want to incline to here. But don't get me wrong, the um, AirPod strength, there is strength there, but they just don't know how to present it in a really professional way. So no beats whatsoever in a softer, preventable way, okay? All right, so the second test will be my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, same again, connected to my Sony XM4, while the Pixel Buds 2 connected to the iPhone 12 Pro. So let's listen to the same track. So here it goes. Okay, so simultaneous now. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's put the volume up. It was on max, okay. That's very interesting. So the I know the um, Google Pixel Buds, they are, it's quite a smart device, but it comes with a lower spec Bluetooth connection. But the, the Beats quality is not as good as Sony XM4, but almost there. It's not bad actually. Um, I didn't expect this result actually. I thought Pixel Buds would be not as good immediately, but it's, I think somehow the Pixel Buds have come a long way with the updates recently. Ah, here it is. So the clap sound when you hear it, it's actually the headphone sound, so the earphone sound is actually driven to slightly less to the right and more focus on the left, which means that the 
XM4 is slightly better with the sharpness of the clap sound. So I'm basically having both volume maximized and I can see that it's like 100% on the XM4 sound on the uh, XM4 earbuds while as 80% on the Pixel Buds 2, you see what I mean? But it's not bad, I'm really surprised by this result actually. Interesting. So the final conundrum which is the Sony XM4 connected to my Galaxy S20 Ultra again. Uh, now while um, iPhone 12 is now connected to the uh, BioPlay E8. So let's play the same track which I, I love it. It's I Need It by Jay Someday. It was a really nice track. So here it goes. Okay, so simultaneously play now. Okay. Oh, it's like almost the same. It's very difficult to tell. Other than the fact that the XM4 has the noise cancelling, there's a bit of a sound leak on the E8. Yeah, but the beat is a bit more professionally, I have to edit, beat is slightly better presented on the XM4, but they're both really good. You can tell because the sound focus uh, is actually towards the left, which is where my um, Sony XM4 is based. But it's slightly left, if you see what I mean. And um, the way how the clap is presented, they're both the same. Very nicely presented. But if I have to give it the beats, it's a bit softer and well presented on the XM4. I mean, it depends on the way how um, you actually set up your uh, sound system. But for my uh, Sony, um, I actually have it on the excited sound on my XM4 uh, earbuds settings, which is one of my favorite for the sound settings. While as the um, on the BioPlay, I actually have the treble and the beats on in the maximum as well so that's i think is a fair comparison but they're almost the same so it's a very interesting exercise i have to say the only thing that i was that was predictable was the um airpods which was really irritatingly sharp sound i'm sure you could adjust the eq on it but um i think apple is trying to prove that hey listen we could actually come up with this sort of strong sound but they failed to present it professionally as a default sound while well, as what i didn't ne never ever expected is that the uh, pixel buds 2 sounded way better than i predicted actually it almost tried to level up with the xm4 sound quality the beats was really good but in the end it was uh it I think the word it stuck on my head was if XM4 was 100%, the Pixel Buds 2 was 80%, but it's not bad actually. Um, and in the end, the final conundrum, I actually thought that Bang & Olufsen is going to beat personally the XM4 because for years and years, the um, Bang & Olufsen E8 has proven to be one of the best earbuds, but hands down, I have to give it to the Sony XM4. It just slightly 1%, I have to say, edge it uh, because it has the noise cancellation as the huge advantage. Just so you know, the Bang & Olufsen E8, this is like at least two or three years old ear earbud and I'm loving it actually. It's it's worth money worth spend, which was just under 300 pounds and it's still proving to be a really good high quality uh, earbuds. But in the end, I think I made a really good uh, investment on buying the Sony XM4. But to be honest with you, other than the AirPod itself, which is two, I think, uh, these pricey earbuds, they're almost the same level. Um, 
well, I have to say between the Bang & Olufsen E8 and the Sony XM4. So is it really worth getting two or 300 uh, British pounds worth of earbuds? I guess, yes, in the end, if you want to really, really high quality to the best to make you feel proud of yourself that you got one of the best earbuds, then yes. But um, there's so many cheap uh, earbuds that I have actually tested that is almost to the same level as the one that I reviewed today. It, um, but overall, if I have to make a heavy criticism again, is the quality of the case finish for Sony. Um, I cannot understand why they came up with such a cheap opening feel um, case. I wish they could actually come up with a better case quality, or maybe there's a so like an accessory that can improve uh, the disadvantage of the looks that I have for the uh, XM4 earbuds. Anyway, I hope this video sort of gave you a better insight on the earbuds industry of one of the good quality earbuds that is available in the industry. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.